this one. Schwip. This is reaching wonderful 101 levels of silliness, but it's still awesome. Like, there are multiple scenes in the wonderful 101 that behave exactly like this. That was a close one. Oh, here we go again. Where am I? All the way over here somehow. That that makes sense. Slam. Here comes the Kaslam. Get over there! Okay. We got more, though. Good. Another. Oh golly. The last hurrah. The last supper, as it were. Shoot him. We. Cool decor. And in case it wasn't clear, I said decor, as in D E C O R. I think there's a, uh, a trick to doing this. I don't know if I can get close. I can. Okay, cool. Whoa. Nice. I really like that skill because it hits everybody all at once. X! Uh oh. Can I get in there? I can. Uh oh. Ugh. Um, help, please. There we go. Whoa, buddy. Uh, I can't tell what's going where. Oh, everything's crumbling. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
this again. Oh god. Alright. Oh, uh, where's my dude? There's my dude. Yeah, finish him. Huh? Hey, it's all the Acuras. Is Yosef. It's useless. I'm what part the? of the astral plane now. I'm endless. I transcend mere dimensionality. Please stop. Come now. It's time for you to join me. Go. I am Noah is endless. I mean, if you say so. Thanks, sis. D. Yep. 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 <laughs> hey! You're alive! Great. You really had me worried for a minute. Wait. Where's Akira? Oh, well, Hal's dead. All that mass condensed down into a single humanoid form. That's how you know he's intimidating. Point. Frieza, no! Thanks, Dad.
Oh, there's a new red case available. I wonder what it, what it is. Oh boy, we got the invisible platforms. That would suck, though, if you had to fight on these and then they just disappear randomly. Time to go ham. What's up? So, there's a wall starting to come down, yeah. Oh, I somehow bound him? Okay. Okay, yeah, if he goes on the opposite end of the, uh, the map, then that wall will start coming back up. It's meant to incentivize you to keep moving. Whoa. Where am I? Where am I go? Oh. Oh, there, there he is. Wait, there he is. Wait. Oh, there he is. Okay. Just gonna bump. 3200, let's go. The first time I fought this final boss, this is how I did it. I just kept perfect calling with the Arrow Legion, and since it's, it homes in, it really works out. Especially if you can time those, uh, those crystal shots pretty well. Oh, 
I'm gonna get dumped on in a second here. Homing in. God damn, that laser just messes me up. got hurt by that. Final Noah Prime. Oh, it's wobbly. Oh, it's wobbly. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Perfect call, baby. Oh, that would be cool if I could parry that, though. I wonder. I can't see at all. Oh, there we go. I did parry it. He's stunned by a simple wolf call, howl. Oh god. No, I can't perfect call. It's happening. Oh, it's flipping. Uh, let me... Look. That's not good. Um, medicine. Ow. I hate that he disables my lock on as well. Oh, I almost had him there. Oh! Every time he phases like that, I lose sight of him. Oh well. Okay, that works, I guess. Yeah, 1,000. That's a D. Oh, that's a D. Huh? Oh. 
punch him. Ora, 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 ora! Take the shot. Going in. Slam him down. Slice him up. And we're dead. Game over. That's what you get for getting a D on the final boss, you scrub. Oh, here we go. He's getting restrained. Is that an S plus? Don't be an S plus. That was a pitiful display. <laughs> okay, game. Sure. Sorry, I'm late. No. I'm gonna do it. Here I come. I'm gonna. You have to end. Phew! That was a long run. Do it. All right. goes. Astral Chain, baby! Thanks for watching the playthrough. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. it me and my mispredicting my S pluses goes to show you just how self-deprecating I tend to be to myself, anyway. Um, but yeah, that was Astral Chain. Great game. Um, one of Platinum Games' best. Uh, back when it was still new, it was being reviewed as such, and I still think that is true. And now with Wonderful 101, I think out by the time this video goes up, um, then that makes two, three, four, four counting the two Bayonetta games. Um, are there any other Platinum Games I'm not thinking of? In any event, that makes four fantastic, at least, Platinum Games on the Switch. I recommend all of them. This was great. You got to see the, the playthrough for what it was. Wonderful 101 is a great game as well. It was a shame it was on Wii U for so long, but now it's on every other console, so... Great. People get to experience that. Sometimes for the first time, other times for a retry on a different console. Um, Bayonetta 1 and 2, still very solid games. Bayonetta 2 also took the Wonderful 101 treatment of, always, of being relegated to the uh, Wii U prior to... Uh, the Switch release, but it's available to play now, and it's rad too. So I'm still holding out hope that there's some Astral Chain Smash rep, but I understand why there wouldn't be. For starters, um, there's that whole idea that if uh, they already had a spirit in the game, then it's unlikely that they will be a brand new character, because at the time of recording this, 
the arms rep hasn't been announced yet for Smash. And I think Springman and Ribbon Girl already have sticker or uh, spirits in um, in the spirit mode. So I'm wondering who they would have to pick from arms, unless they make an entirely new character. Throw everyone for a, a curve. Um, either way, I'm excited. And with that said, because there there were spirits for Astral Chain, the heroes um, already as like an event mode sort of thing. It's unlikely that they would be added. I would still love to see it. If not them, I'd love to see Wonder Red, Beautiful Joe, Bayonetta. Wait a minute. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some really cool reps for Smash. Why am I talking about that? This is Astral Chain. Duh. No, yeah. Astral Chain had some very fun colors going for it. It was, um, very hushed, like, tones, I noticed. Like, a lot of sepia overtone. But then the constant dichotomy of red and blue really made it pop, I think. I had to go and ruin it by making my character wear green, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, the whole red-blue thing was a lot of fun, just to experience the whole thing. And with the addition of green, now we have red-blue-green! The whole, like, the spectrum of what we as humans can see. Everything's just a different shade of red, blue, or green, or a combination of them all. Which, th there's a, an interesting point, too. Um, the primary colors, sure, of art, red, blue, and yellow. But the real three main colors that we see in life is are red, blue, and green. Um, yeah. Fun art facts. You can mix those three art primary colors together to make secondary colors, which is why green is a secondary color, but as far as what we can see, we don't see yellow light as much, it's just a different shade of green and blue. Of course, I can't speak like I am a scientist. I'm probably getting some parts about this wrong, so don't take my word verbatim. And why am I talking about colors? Because Astral Chain, duh. I think the uh, the symbolism of Noah and the Ark, you know, Noah's Ark, haha, was... Like, it, it was to be expected, I feel. If Yosef thinks that he's going to be leading the uh, humanity to survival, or like, the existence of life to survival, that he is the Noah of the Ark. So, there's that whole symbolism going there. Um, what else to talk about? So I learned a few things during the second playthrough, like a bit more of how some of the other legions worked. Because my first playthrough, I would normally stick with the uh, sword and arrow legions, because they seem to be the most reliable in most circumstances. I used to rely a lot more on Perfect Call, if that is to be believed. And I just kind of rushed into fights more often than not, Go figure, because a lot of my fights during this were that. There were only a few times here where I just kind of sat back and waited for them to do certain moves. I still have yet to experiment more with the various forms, like the um, the sword, uh, the blade mode for sword legion, the shooty mode for arrow legion, the hover mode for arm, the riding the beast, and the shield with the... Uh, Axe Legion. I used the Axe Legion a lot more than my first playthrough. I barely used that thing before. But I actually do enjoy using it now, so go figure. Uh, as we near the end of the credits here, uh, I want to thank you again for watching. And yeah, that's about it. It's dimming. There we go. Hey, rank. Oh, I missed two red cases. Yikes. 
Uh, what would they have been? I'm not sure. Oh well. I got Elite Plus out of that. Cool. Hey, voice code H. I wonder what that is. I guess I could have read the description of it, but oh well. So there we go. Uh, the casual check mark was because we started the game in casual. If you want to get platinum um, ranked four, the first one, you have to go back and do it in platinum standard. Um, and that way you can get an achievement for completing the game in its entirety with a rank in every file. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit plus. There we go. Thank you for playing. I don't know what file 12 is. I think it's just, hmm. No, I can't, I can't speak for that. Maybe it's like cleanup or something. Anyway, that's all I'm willing to do. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. That was the finale.